Hi crafters, it's Hannah here from Handcrafted Cards. Today's video is a first in a vid uh, video series that's just going to be looking at some of the basics that you need to know um, uh, when you're starting out in card making. Um, it's going to be some tips, some tricks and just some little things that I found useful for me so I'm going to share them with you guys. So let's get started with today's video we're talking about stamps. So, so, as I said, today we're talking about stamps. stamps. And stamping up, we with stamping up we have three um, different types of stamps. We, well, we have two different types really. There's the classic red rubber stamp and the photopolymer stamps. I will talk about the classic red rubber stamps first. This is uh, what it looks like um, when you get your stamps. They will all be on one sheet of red rubber um, and this, these are the clear mount stamps. Um, what that means, you'll get it in a thin size DVD box so it's uh, good for storage. Um, you can get quite a lot of these on your shelf, it doesn't take up much shelf space. And then what you're going to do is you just pop it out of the red rubber and I've done some already and this you can either keep this to store them in as well and I'll show you what I mean in a minute or throw that away that's not um, very important and then on the back there's just a clear um, not clear a backing now at this point you can just stick them onto your blocks um, which is a clear mount block which you need to um, you need to use these with a clear mount block to stamp um, some people don't put the sticker on the back some people do I personally do um, but you don't have to you can just stamp with them just like that and that's fine but it does come in the pack you do get the sticker sheets that go with it and with those you just peel off the back in. I usually just peel off one side first and then um, stick that one side down so I can line it up like that and then peel it up and then peel the other half of the backing sheet up. I just find it a little bit easier to do it one half first and then the other half and then that way when you come to stamp you will see the image as you're stamping it and you do need to press it a little bit um, firmer um, to get it to stick on the block but it generally does stick and there, there is a trick that um, I can show you um, with sticking those on just do this last one here I'm just peeling off the backing off the label. Whoops. My nails still haven't grown, so I'm finding it difficult to peel. And then with words especially, I always just double check to make sure it's the right way around. Um, and I'm just lining that up over the top. And then taking off the second half like that then this can just be thrown away and all those backing sheets are rubbish so as I said with storage you can either just keep them in the case like that or what I usually do um, is take the backing off this piece put that back into the case like that and then these will fit back in and the reason I do that is so if I've been doing a lot of stamping and I've got um, stamps everywhere I've had loads of stuff out I can quickly see if there are any stamps missing from this stamp set I know straight away there's two missing now it does tell you on the front of the case um, how many stamps are in there but I just find that quicker to be able to just see that straight away 
that I've got a couple missing and I can just put them back in and now that is how whoops, I store my clear mount stamps so as I said they, these are good because they take up less space on your shelf and um, you just mount them onto your block and they're quite quick um, and yeah easy, easy for storage I think is the best thing to say with these and that little tip that I said I was going to show you if you use a two-way glue pen and colour onto, well colour, just put a little bit of two-way glue pen onto the back of your stamp, let that dry and then when you come to stamp with it, it will just be a little bit tacky um, so it clings to your clear mount blocks easier and these are separate from the stamps, these are sold separately. So that's just my little tip for getting them to stick. So that's the clear mount red rubber. The wood mount red rubber stamps, these are again in a case and they come in one sheet and you have to pop it out the same as with the clear mount but with the wood mount as the name suggests they are mounted onto wood. Now each um, set comes with a wooden block and these are actually maple wood blocks and they're quite, they're not rough, they're nice and smooth so you're not going to get any splinters off it, anything like that which is awesome. Um, the good thing with these are, is once they're mounted on the blocks they're ready to go. You can just pick it up and stamp, you haven't got to mount it onto something else. So again you take your block and with these I just have a little play around with the stamp first um, to make sure I know the best way um, it's going to fit on the block because as I say once it's on it's on so I just have a little look make sure it's centered roughly and then stick it down and that is ready to stamp and that will store with the block in your case and with this one to make sure you're stamping in the right place it comes with a sticker and again I just try to line this up as best as I can um, with the stamp so I, I have a look where it is where it goes up to each side top and bottom and then roughly try and get it in the same spot. Now I've placed it down but I haven't stuck it firmly yet just so I can quickly flip it over and have a look and I'm happy with that. The only th the thing you have to remember with wood mount stamps is you can't see where the stamp is as with um, a clear mount block so placing your sticker is very important to getting things lined up properly so as best you can make sure that that is in the same um, spot as the stamp is if that makes sense so when you go to stamp you know that that's going to be the right way up I mean I have before stuck the stick one upside down and then gone to stamp and it's all upside down so you don't want to do that so I've already done the rest and they will just store nicely in the case and again it does tell you how many on the front are in the set so this one is five so I know there's five there so that is red rubber stamps they come in clear mount and wood mount the other type of stamp sets that we can get from stamping up are the photopolymer stamps these are really really just perfect for lining up um, images and there's a lot of fun techniques you can get because they are clear I should put something underneath really just grab some paper that's a little bit better because they are clear when you stamp your image actually let's just Let's just stamp it so I can show you what I mean. Let me just grab a 
was inking this up. Oh, too much ink on that one. So I've got my image there. And if I get in this stamp set, there is some spots that go in the balloon. If I get a different colour, you'll see what I mean. I'm just going to tap that. And because this uh, the stamp is clear, I can look through when you haven't inked it up too much <laughs> and line it up with the first image so the spots are in the centre of the balloon. So that's the good thing with photopolymer. Um, also, they are flexible so you can bend them. So if you want, you can put it straight on the block like that and stamp or you can put a curve in it so you can get some really fun techniques with photopolymer stamps um, the only thing uh, well the, the tip that I have to go with those is to use your stamping pierce mat um, if you're struggling to get a clear image the stamping pierce mat is definitely what you need and that's what that is it's just a soft um, squidgy surface and I've just wrapped some grid paper around it just so I don't get ink all over you can see this is really well used I use this a lot um, so if you're struggling to get a clear image with your stamps um, because if you compare these to the red rubber stamps you can see it's, it's got its own squish underneath there the, the grey section there that is squishy but these don't have that squish so you need a, a softer surface if you haven't got one of these you can use a mouse mat or a, a magazine but I, I have found personally that I've get, gotten the best image with um, the PS mat so that's just something to remember um, with your photopolymer stamps um, when they come they're on a clear plastic sheet like that and I just stick that down into the case so that when I come to put these away I can just place it on there and I haven't got to keep because there is another sheet that comes over the top of it and you kind of peel it apart but I can't be bothered with all that so I just stick that on there and again I can see that one is missing there I've got one that I need to put away so that's just how I have found it's easier to store it so that is it for today's video just a quick back to basics video that um, this is hopefully going to well it is going to be a series um, with just some more tips and tricks that I have found so I hope you found this video useful if you did please share it with your friends and if you have any questions anything um, craft related that you've been struggling with just leave me a question in the um, comments below or any tips what's your top tip when it comes to stamping uh, leave me a comment that would be awesome and if you haven't already please give me a subscribe so you don't miss any of my other tip videos that will be coming up soon so thank you very much for watching today and I will see you all next time bye